A neighborhood crime alert in Jacksonville Beach where a woman was attacked in a home in the middle of the night and nearly raped. A witness says it happened around 2.30 this morning in South Jacks Beach. And police now have a warning for everyone who lives in that area. News for Jacks reporter Vic Michelucci is joining us live from the police station with how this unfolded. Vic. It certainly is frightening here, Mary. Police are still doing this investigation, trying to find who is responsible for this home invasion and attack. Right now, we do know that police believe that the woman left one of her doors unlocked, and it was a neighbor who heard commotion and called 911, likely saving her from the attack. It happened overnight just before 3 a.m. A woman says a man came into her home and tried to rape her. A neighbor called 911 and police arrived in minutes, but the attacker was gone. Detectives have been working around the clock to find out who did this. They're out there lurking uh, during the night, so when they see an open door, to them, that's an open opportunity to do something. News for Jack's crime and safety expert, Ken Jefferson, is a former sex crimes detective. He's worked frightening cases like this one. The person that broke in doesn't know what he's walking into. That person could have been armed and ready to protect themselves and their property. A post on Ring's neighborhood app claims the victim forgot to close her garage door overnight. Police are not releasing where it happened or details about the victim for her safety. But officers tell us it was in the southern part of their jurisdiction. Police say the neighbor did the right thing by calling officers right away when he heard a commotion. Now they need others in the area to be extra vigilant. If they see something, say something. If you're a detective and this happens in the middle of the night, you don't have a good suspect description, what are you going to be doing to solve this case? You have your evidence technicians come and scour the place for anything and everything that may have been left behind by the suspect. You collect the, uh, the bedding, you collect the clothing, um, so that you can examine it through the lab for DNA evidence. Uh, with the DNA being like it is now, you look for surveillance cameras. And a sergeant here tells me that woman is phys physically okay tonight. I did ask if this was connected possibly to any other cases, if there was any kind of trend in the area. And police tell me right now they believe this is an isolated incident. If you know anything, call Jacksonville Beach Police. We're live. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station.